All right, so anyway, I'm reading this article about advertising and what people do, and it's, it's all about marketing. Yep. One thing I didn't know is that they had done a study, a, a marketing person did this study on remotes, the TV remote, and they had people hold two different remotes, one heavier than the other one, and they wanted to know which one do you think is the better remote. And do they look the same? They look exactly the okay. same. There's okay. no, no difference whatsoever, but one is heavier than the other one. And of course, what do you think that most people said? Most people. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> noticed how I had to clarify that and because we're talking Kelly, so. I guess most people would probably have gotten the heavier one. Correct. Why? Because they think because I really don't want to have to pick up a brick, frankly, to change the channel. But I digress. Right. Go ahead. Well, and, and, and maybe smarter people um, think that because Terry, my husband, thinks the same thing. He's an engineer. However, most people think if it's heavier, then it's made of better quality. Well, what they're doing. is true for women. Like, <laughs> uh, seriously. <laughs> That's a great idea. I mean, why is it that some, some object if, is higher quality if it's got more substance? And chicks oh. are, you know, they have great personalities. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I'm still so. listening to you. I am. Thank My you. My rapt attention. So, <laughs> if you make these out. <laughs> All right. So people are, are, are saying the heavy ones. So what they do is they take that information and they fill the little remote with pieces of aluminum. To, to make it load in its pants? Yes. To make it heavier. So it actually doesn't have to be in there. And they charge more money for it. So there you are. See, I thought that, that was in the heavier girls should get the richer guys though. If you keep the logic going, fat bottom girls make the rock and roll go around. <laughs> get on your bikes and ride. <laughs> oh God, I miss Freddie Mercury. Yes, that's, that's weird. I mean, you know, companies go to extraordinary measures to try to figure out what we want and mm -hmm. and separate us from our money. Right. But that's just weird. I mean, in a time where everybody's talking about going green and everything else, that has to create yet another horrible piece of environmental waste. Yeah, definitely. Unless you take it apart and recycle the aluminum. Well, and if you know to do that, which, well, you heard it here. Yeah, exactly. But then I started thinking, okay, marketing, you know, we actually do that anyway ourselves. I dye my hair. I'm actually a blonde. And I'm not. <laughs> Actually, I'm gray, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Highlights, darling. You have highlights. That's right. I Naturally have occurring highlights. highlights. Oh, that's good. You like that? I like that. I, I, just, I, I just messaged and re-messaged it for you. Yeah. Yep. Okay, very good. Idea. Yeah. But I mean, that's what we do for ourselves too. So it's sort of like, is it is it is it such a bad thing? No. I mean, I'm all about I'm all about capitalism and commerce. Mm -hmm. So if if that is what people seem to want, I I just my systems are jammed because I again I don't want to have to pick up a brick. And plus I already have like three remotes mm -hmm. anyway. So and, and, and you know just <laughs> not... have you seen that one that's like this big? Oh, it's preposterous. I know. It's preposterous. <laughs> is that for blind people? Well, older okay. people though yeah. that do need the bigger. Oh, here we go with the older people. Again. Well, my mother. Is. And, and she, I, oh, okay, and we will, we will, my mom threatens me, she said, you're going to go talk about your elderly mother again, but she's so much material that I can't, yeah. how can you not? Mm -hmm. The famous author, Vince Flynn, who yes. is from the Twin Cities, fantastic, fantastic author, years ago, about, I think it was about 2002, we went to a uh, book signing of another local author, and Vince showed up. To support and I it was very very cool he's a nice guy just um, the type of guy that you're happy for when they make it big time because you he's they're a not, good guy. yeah they're not a jerk and you're just you want him to have all the raging success that he can and he's just he's a great writer so I went up and I introduced himself or myself and was talking with him and my mother was wandering around uh, this book signing was being conducted in a historic mansion in st. Paul and I hadn't seen her in a while and my husband, your mother or the mansion? My mother. Okay, just 
She's Jeff. And my husband had uh, gone and corralled her. She had just helped herself behind one of the velvet ropes and was exploring. So I <laughs> he brought her back and she said, well, she was wondering. Oh, yeah. And she figuring, and see, she, the, the elderly thing works for her when she wants it to. Oh, sure. But, I, it. right. So, so he, he goes and apprehends her and brings her up to me. And, and I said, where have you been? And, and he said, don't ask right now, please. And I said, okay. So I introduced her. Mom, this is Vince Flynn. She's an avid reader. She goes, hi, Mr. Flynn. It's nice to meet you. You're a really good writer, but do you realize that most of your books are not in large print? And you really need to push your publisher to get, and she starts ripping on Vince Flynn about big print. And she really loved to read more of his work, but you know, she just can't see it. And I just don't know why that's not automatic. <laughs> don't you love it though when people can do that? I mean, seriously. I was horrified. And he probably took it all in. Oh, like, he was a know? saint about it. He's a prince of a guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Thanks, Mom. Uh, you're uh, way more fun. But then, as soon as so that we got out of that disaster, and I got her by the arm, I'm like, why did you just rip Vince Flynn's face off? And, and, and my husband said, oh, it does, just, guess where she was? And I'm like, okay, we gotta go. We'll see you later. Bye bye. When we come back, we'll get into a little equal pay for equal work and uh, some other stuff if we can possibly stick to one subject. Terry and Kelly, we're live and locked.